previously on Barefoot Sailing Adventures. This is what we came for, right? It's just getting good, huh? That was an amazing drum circle. <laughs> Sunset! Sunset! Wow. Great job. Cool. I think you're patrons. Oh, yeah. How cool was that? Got Another it. beautiful sunset Sun. here with Barefoot. Sailing Adventures! Amazing. The boat's still here as we left her. Ha ha! Look at making. that current trying to steal us. Looks good sitting there. Looks like we know what we're doing. Try not to get the chair wet. After leaving the Nokomis Beach Drum Circle, it was just a short boat ride in Nokomo's Sunset Hut. And that's our newly found favorite hideaway tiki bar. I remember to worry, worry, worry. We were delighted to find an amazing local musical duo playing and singing their hearts out. I mean to tell you, these guys were outstanding, very entertaining. With our sailboat on the dock, we were beginning to love this Venice, Florida area. And when this wonderful night was through, we simply shoved off and dropped anchor in the calm bay that you're looking at there, called Donna Bay. After a restful night, the sunrise and clouds looked like a Bob Ross painting, and we were ready for more adventures. So come on with us. All right, it is another beautiful sunrise right here at Nokomo's Sunset Hut. But strangely enough, the sun sunrise sunrises <laughs> right over Nokomo. This little spot. This is a nice anchorage for us. Been very peaceful and calm. Got some good sleep. Good so sleep here. No bugs. No bugs. This place worked out great for us. Right, Not a whole lot of boat traffic. Glorious beautiful day. Beautiful day. See what the day has in store. Head it south towards Key West. Temperature wise. Yeah. It's really hot to watch you make the bed, but it's. I just forgot this bikini. Brand new one, huh? Brand new. Can you see through it? Not until it gets wet. Maybe. I love that bikini on you. Smoking. Woo! It's no, hot. it is. <laughs> it is roasting. It is roasting out. It's very calm out there, so there's no air circulating. Yeah. Looking good. Woo! We're just sitting here enjoying our coffee this morning. Cheers. Cheers. We stayed the night here in Donna Bay. We met the coolest people up here at Nokomo's. Yeah, awesome little bar. Awesome tiki bar. Nokomo's really felt welcomed here. Drum Circle was amazing at the Nokomis awesome. yeah. Beach. That was cool. That was cool. A lot of different people, a lot of hippie vibes going on, a lot of drumming. Now we are going over back to that island. Yep. And getting off the boat, stretching a little bit. And then we're going to travel south. We are sailing Tampa Bay to Key West. Come with us. We're trying to get motivated and get, get a move on. Here we go. Here we go. The band that played there, Audio Orchid. Man, those guys are good. They are good. Really I need your help getting my back. Gotcha. If the video thing doesn't fall through, I could be a painter. You're looking nice and shiny. Nice if you've ever said to yourself, I wish that they posted more. We post over on Patreon just as much as we post on YouTube. A lot of videos over there. We appreciate every single one of you. You would not be here if it weren't for you. Alright, Captain Ashley. Alright, she's mine again. <laughs> we got a pretty good hook, so I'm gonna ask you to just pull ahead and then I'll be able to finish this job. Okay. Good job, Captain. The captain turned into the first mate. <laughs> Take care of business. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Donna Bay has really treated us well, but I tell you, it's only three feet deep back in here in this whole bay. Put on a Donna Bay here. That's the way it is when in the cruising life, stay at a place so long, and then it's just time to go. Yeah. Before we could leave this delightful and splendid place, we just had to make a stop at our favorite island in the area that some of the locals call Rattle Island. One thing that makes this particular huge island so cool and accessible are the areas on the backside that have nice driven piles that you can position your boat in between and tie to. As we back our shallow draft sailboat deep into the vegetation, suddenly, snap! We hit a large dead branch with our topping lift. Make it rain! <laughs> Because I didn't know what was happening at first. <laughs> Whoa, that could have been a disaster. But no harm, no foul, as they say. Good job. Landscaping. That's Landscaping. what I say. Ooh. It was still early morning, so we had time to practice throwing our brand new cast net and do some fishing. Let's see how sweet Ashley does. Instructions. So I'm thinking about... Um... Yeah, user manual. The net thrown overboard to the ground with a large area, and the fish was covered in the net. <laughs> and the fish was covered? That's what the instructions say. That's what the user manual says. It's like a book yeah. mixed with 
<laughs> Mixed with the manual, that's weird. Whoa. You might have a stroke trying to read that. <laughs> the fish was caught in the pocket. <laughs> Continue, to, no. Continue to pull the net to make the net out to the ground. When taking the fish, hold the top of the net by hand and lift the net still rope to make the bottom of the net fall. And the fish falls to the ground in the net to take it. Huh? <laughs> I'm guessing this is from China. Yeah, I would say so. Here you go. See if you can make it cover a large area. Yeah, that looks like an easier net to throw, doesn't it? And you hold the frisbee? Which what if I catch a big fish in it and it takes off with me? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Let's follow Ashley and see if she can toss this cast net. Reach down. Yeah. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. That was okay. That's how it works. And then the fish are in the pocket. Yeah. So that is pretty easy the way it works. Now you just have to remember to let go of the line. So you'll have to. That was good. That was a little better. It was. <laughs> well, at least he got it to the ground. I there caught mangrove shells in. Beautiful. That looks much better. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff. Look at you. She likes it. The current touched on, but it just takes it. We just saw some snook moving through here, so maybe Ashley can catch one on the hook. We don't have any live bait. We're gonna catch some here. Such a cool spot right here. I'll tell you, after a long night at the bar, this is great because you can just slide in here and tie off as if it's a dock instead of having to drop anchor. And it's a good little spot though because of all this current. Very current. Lots of fish. A lot of little bait fish and stuff. Yeah. Look at that pile of fish over there. Yeah. Didn't catch any fish yet, but I'm not going to give up. Now we're going to get on shore. Good job. And then I'll give fishing another chance later on. Maybe we can get some bait or something going. Yeah. And we can catch us some dinner. Cool. Well, I'll follow you. Let's get on shore and walk around. See That's what's going on. And you're right. The water has warmed up a lot. Yeah. It's warm. It's warm. Good. Yeah. Hang on just a second. We got her tucked in the mangroves. Woo. We're on shore again. Let's walk around. This is such a cool island. It is so nice. You know? Now I can't remember which way do we go? Wraps around. But... Yeah, let's let's go let's, let's go over to the beach again. Okay. Like it's so nice. Here, let me, uh... This is such a cool little spot with those pylons that you can uh, tie up to and stuff. Yes. It makes it really easy.